Hi folks, Unboxer of Worlds here with a comparison of two different phone chargers. Well, I say phone chargers, but really you could probably use them to charge whatever. Anyway, so last year I purchased this LG V40 ThinkQ. It came with a charger, and according to what I've read, the charger included in the box is a Quick Charge 3 charger. But the Qualcomm Quick Charge Technology Device List says the LG V40 ThinQ is actually compatible with Quick Charge 4 slash 4 Plus. So I figured, why not compare how fast this phone charges when I use the included Quick Charge 3 charger versus a Quick Charge 4 Plus charger, namely the Belkin Boost Charge, which I unboxed in the video linked above. Now keep in mind, I've heard some folks say that despite the V40 being compatible with Quick Charge 4, it may not actually charge any faster unless the phone manufacturer decides to enable that feature. I know, it's confusing. So let's just compare the two chargers and see what happens. But first, if you wanted to like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, it's always appreciated. So this is how I'm going to do this. My phone is stone cold dead right now. So I'm going to plug it into the included Quick Charge 3 charger and let it charge all the way to full. And I'm going to time the entire process with my trusty 2019 Fire 7 tablet, whose unboxing video you can check out in the link above. And we'll see how long it takes to fully charge. Then I'm going to wait for the phone to completely die and start the whole process again using the Belkin Boost Charge Quick Charge 4 Plus charger. And we're going to see does this charger charge the V40 faster than this charger? Quick Charge 4 Plus versus Quick Charge 3. Will there be a difference? Will it be a significant difference? Will my LG V40 ThinQ benefit at all? Well, they're going to go head to head and we're going to find out very slowly. Okay, so I'm plugging the supposedly Quick Charge 3 charger into the wall. I've got a stopwatch ready to go on my tablet. And just be aware, folks, this is not a scientific test. If there's a second or whatever between me plugging in the charger and pressing the start button on the timer, so be it. I'll start the timer first, then I'll wait till the 10 second mark to plug in the phone. All right, the timer's going. I am super excited. You ready for this, folks? Boom. Okay, so the charging has begun. Once again, this is the V40's included charger, which I hear is Quick Charge 3. Oh wow, folks, we are already at 2% charged. Truly, this will be the most exciting video I have ever filmed. Sarcasm. All right, so we're closing in on the 15 minute mark. And I promise you folks, I have not been sitting here staring at this timer for 15 minutes. My life isn't that empty. I also have a dog. You know, folks tell me to expand past just doing unboxing videos. So here we are, a phone charger comparison. We're getting into the really exciting stuff right here, folks. All right, so 15 minutes in and we're at 23%. Unbelievable. Closing in on one hour of this incredibly exciting process. And just think, even after we hit full charge, we're only going to be halfway done because I got to wait for the phone to uncharge so I can do it all over again. Luckily, that wait shouldn't be too long. Look, I love the V40, but its battery life leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe I should do a video on how long it takes for my V40 to run out of battery. Do you want to see that, folks? Of course not, but tell me in the comments anyway. Oh, and in case you missed it, at the hour mark, we were at 82% charged. Around an hour and 24 minutes in, and we are at 98%. I cannot begin to tell you how excruciating these last 24 minutes have been. Is this how quick charging works? It starts really fast and then slows to an agonizing crawl at the end? And I'm totally annoying my wife by filming this video because I keep running in and out of this room to check on this thing. What are you folks doing while this thing charges? Probably watching someone else's video, but you know what you could be doing? Clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell. 99%. The color of my charger just changed. I don't know why that happened. Why'd you change, timer? We are still at 99%. Come on, hit 100. Put this misery behind me. I don't know how I'm going to edit this into something even remotely watchable. Will we get to 100 before an hour and a half? I gotta believe we will. 100. I got an hour, 28 minutes and 3 seconds on the clock, folks. Just shy of an hour and a half to bring the LG V40 to 100% charge with its included, probably, Quick Charge 3 charger. 
Now remember, I did start the charging process at about 10 seconds in, so subtract that and we've got maybe an hour, 27 minutes and 53 seconds. I don't know, is that math? I don't know. Now I'm going to let the phone die, then I'll come back and start this all over again with the Belkin Boost Charge Quick Charge 4 Plus Charger. Will it beat that? Day two. All right, folks, it's day two of Charger Combat. And today we are going to plug in the Belkin Boost Charge and see what we get when we combine the LG V40 ThinQ with Quick Charge 4 Plus. Okay, about to hit 15 minutes. Yesterday we were about 23% charged at this time. Let's see where we stand today. Wow, 23% charged. We're neck and neck. And I'm kind of finding this a little disappointing so far. But hey, even if one of these chargers does not emerge as a clear-cut winner, at least I have a cool looking Quick Charge 4 Plus charger. And at least we're getting a super exciting video out of it. But you never know, we've still got some time left. Still got some time. I'll check back at the hour mark. All right, about to hit one hour. I believe we were at around 82% with yesterday's charger. Let's see how today's doing. Almost exactly the same. This is disheartening. W what am I even doing with my life, folks? Okay, an hour and 18 minutes. 95%. There's still a chance that the Quick Charge 4 Plus charger may charge my phone a little faster than the Quick Charge 3 charger. Hour and 20. 96. This is going to be close. How are we doing at an hour 23? 97. This is brutal. I was excited at first. I thought there was going to be a big difference here. But apparently not. So we're at 99%. The only light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that this whole thing is soon going to be over. And we're only about, what, a minute or two different than we were yesterday, maybe? <sighs> but I'm not passing any negative judgment here. I knew this sort of outcome was a possibility. But you know, if you still have an LG V40 and you're thinking about possibly upgrading the charger, you might be better off just sticking with the one that came in the box. Whoops, I accidentally stopped the timer for a second there. That was an accident. I will subtract a second if it makes everyone happy. This is not a scientific test, folks. I'm just a sad, broken man watching a charger charge a phone slowly. And there we are, folks. 100%. Right around 129.30. And since I started 10 seconds in, we're looking at around 129.20. And since I accidentally hit pause at some point, let's knock off another second for 129.19 with the Quick Charge 4 Plus charger. So there you have it. Quick Charge 3 charged in 1 hour, 27 minutes, and 53 seconds. Quick Charge 4 Plus charged in 1 hour, 29 minutes, and 19 seconds. But really, there was almost no meaningful difference between the two chargers. But you know, maybe I answered some questions for some folks. I know I was curious about whether or not the V40 would charge faster with Quick Charge 4 4 Plus. And if nothing else, maybe this will teach me that there's no audience out there for a comparison video between two old chargers for an old phone. Whatever. Either way, what I'm trying to say is, this has been time that none of us are ever getting back. So thanks for spending it here, folks. We'll catch you later.